Buying a Switch in 2021. Mistake? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Stefty. Today I'm talking about my brand new Switch of 2021 that I bought. It's the Animal Crossing Edition from last year. And I was peer pressured into buying this Switch. So a little backstory. First off, I own a launch day 2017 Switch. This is my OG Switch that I stood in line at GameStop actually and got this day one. I played, I played a lot of games on it. I love it. It's a fantastic Switch. Now, what happened was Memes, my wife, she started playing Hades on it. And if you don't know, Hades is a great game to play on the Switch. Effectively confiscating my Switch. So for a solid two, three months, I was thinking, man, I don't have a Switch anymore because my wife took my Switch. So I was thinking maybe it's time to become a two Switch household. And then I brought this up with the podcast, uh, SideQuest, DCP SideQuest, and Briar started uh, peer pressuring me into saying that, why don't you have another Switch, man? What's going on? And I said, the reason was I'm concerned that a Switch Pro is going to come out in 2021. So I've been holding off because I don't want to make the purchase knowing that I'm going to buy a Switch Pro eventually when it comes out, whatever it's called, Super Switch, Super Switch Pro, whatever the crap, you know? Like uh, there is uh, an evolution obviously coming because it's 2017 was when it first came out four years now it's officially been four years since the switch has uh has come out there has been a light version i don't care about the light version because the screen is smaller so i've been looking forward to like a switch pro so i said i wasn't gonna do it and then i got peer pressured on the podcast from eric's and briar and then briar was like hey i'm best buy you can buy a switch right now it's the animal crossing one i was like what and so i bought it peer pressured fast forward a couple weeks later there's reports of a new switch coming at the end of 2021. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually said in the podcast that if maybe I'm the reason that they haven't announced the new Switch yet or the new the, the evolution of the Switch. And uh, sure enough, maybe that was actually the um, the catalyst, you know? I finally bought this Switch and um, and here we go. We've got like legit rumors or legit reports coming out. Kotaku reported I, or I guess it's Bloomberg, one of the, one of the news outlets that's relatively reputable had some clarity on it saying that there is going to be a, um, an OLED, a Samsung OLED screen of the Switch coming out end of the year. It's gonna be seven inches. Uh, there's rumors about it output, outputting 4K on the actual docking type of setup, but supposedly it's still gonna stay with 720p. My main thing about a, a Switch Pro that I've been wanting is a higher resolution screen. And I think this is important because if you look at the Switch right now and you compare it with something say like an iPhone, the pixel density on the screen is not satisfactory, in my opinion. I mean, it's it's a great console. Don't get me wrong. I, like I, I definitely enjoy playing the Switch. It's one of my it's one of my faves. But if I was going to nitpick something, it's that the screen pixel density in the actual console I wish was was denser. Like I, I wish it would either do 1080p or um, 1440 or something like that because. I definitely noticed this stuff in 2021. Um, and I get it, I know some, some of you guys are gonna be like, shut up, what are you talking about? It's fine, quit complaining. This is my video and I'm complaining in my video, okay? OLED screen sounds awesome. Definitely like that. I'm into an OLED screen for a Switch, but it being 720p, I feel like kills the, the purpose of a better screen because it's gonna be seven inches. So 6.2 as it is right now, it's gonna be a little bit bigger. Actually, probably just gonna bump out the size right here. Make this fill out a little bit more, but it's still only gonna be 720p. Like, I think it would be awesome to have a higher resolution screen on there. So a little disappointing on that. So I guess the question is, did I make a mistake buying this switch now, then, as opposed to waiting until end of the year? No, I did not because memes has been playing this switch constantly for the past, like, like I said, three, four months. It's basically her switch now. I have a cutesy looking switch that I absolutely love. <laughs> I think it's fantastic. I really like this thing. Uh, it looks great. One thing I want to mention also is that we have, we're sharing an account or I mean, I should say on my main switch, technically for my account, it's still the OG switch right here. This is still my primary console right here. And that way, anything I own, Memes is able to play on here. So if anybody is questioning if you can share software that you purchase digitally with two accounts, it is definitely possible. There is some caveats though. You might be thinking like, is it difficult to set up? No, it is super easy to set up. In fact, you basically just log in to the new switch and it will give you the option if you wanna go through the, the process of making it your primary and you just don't make it your primary. You make it a switch that you just log into online and you're good to go. The only significant issue is that if you don't have an internet connection, 
This, the, the secondary switch that you log into if you're the main account holder, will always check if you have internet and if you can actually play a particular title. So if I go Dead Cells here, let's close, closing software. Yes, tefty teft, and it's gonna check. Checking if the software can be played. So it does that every single time. Uh, you know, I haven't tried a phone hotspot. Phone hotspots might be able to do that. Um, they might be able to, to remedy that situation. But it is something that could be a pain in the ass. Like, what? let's say you're on a plane and you don't have any Wi-Fi connection whatsoever. That means that your secondary switch, if you're sharing account information like this, cannot play the games, unfortunately, because it has to check in with the Nintendo server and say, do you have the rights to be able to play this game on your main account? At the moment, we're not traveling, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but in the future, that could change. And if that's the case, then memes will have to uh, make this her primary account and start buying all the software that we have that she's in into. But as it is right now, we're saving money on the fact that we're sharing the software. <laughs> and also, I'm a fan of digital purchases. I, I know some people really prefer the cartridges on the Switch and all that. I uh, I could care less, personally. Like, I like being able to have it all on, like, one card that I just pop in and out. So, yes, that is my answer. I did not make a mistake. I'm actually very happy with buying a uh, Switch in 2021. And I did think it was hilarious. I got a bunch of messages from people saying thank you. <laughs> over the OLED screen that I had purchased the Switch and now they're officially talking about the next evolution of the Switch. You're welcome if you did send a message about that. Uh, will I be getting the new Switch in the future? Yeah, absolutely. Why would I not, right? I enjoy gaming, I enjoy technology. If they officially bring out that new OLED screen at the end of the year, then I'm like 99% sure I'm gonna pre-order and buy it because um, it would be great to see that. And then I could like maybe sell my OG Switch right here, make the new one my primary account, or this one. You know what I'm saying. I'd swap it around, do a little switch do, sell my OG, memes would maybe get this one, and I'd get the, um, the, the seven inch OLED that I would complain about being only 720p, if that's really the case. I mean, technically this is still rumor level type of stuff. If you're brand new to the Switch and looking for games, I would highly, highly, highly recommend Breath of the Wild. I know some people don't like Breath of the Wild because it didn't like check all the boxes as a Zelda game specifically, but I think it was a fantastic title and a fantastic Switch game, like to be playing handheld and all that. So highly recommend checking that out if you're brand new to the Switch. Outside of that, obviously Nintendo games are great, but there's a lot of indie games, like Dead Cells plays phenomenally on, uh, on the Switch. Recently, I've been playing Rogue Heroes um, Ruins of Tassos, which has been fun. It's kind of like a, a rogue light with, um, with OG Zelda mechanics on it. Uh, if you get Nintendo Online, then you get access to the Super Nintendo and Nintendo Library, which I really, really do like as well. Uh, also, Hades. Hades is a phenomenal indie title as well. If you have the Steam version, you can actually transfer your Steam save to the Switch and back and forth. So if you hook that up, if you connect the dots, uh, that becomes a, a really cool thing. So you can play yeah, in fact, I think you can even pick up where the game left off, which is even cooler. So you can be playing on the PC, save in the middle of a session, pop out, grab your Switch, and then it will resync, and then you'll be able to uh, to pick up right where you left off on there. I cannot wait until that becomes the norm, where basically most of the multi-platform games all treat it that way. Like that would just be amazing. I really hope Sony doesn't try to cock block a bunch of developers. And yeah, I think that about wraps it up for this video, guys. I just wanted to give my thoughts and let you know my experience with getting a new Switch in 2021. And also, if you're trying to do that, um, the multi-Switch user type of thing, you know, it's very easy, just like the Xbox and PS4 or PlayStation and all that, where if you want to have a primary console and a secondary console, it's been working. You know, Memes is on Animal Crossing and I'm on Animal Crossing. No problem with the, um, the software being shared. Obviously, you do have to be digital. You can't have one cartridge. One cartridge has to be in each console if you want to do it that way. So if you do buy your games digitally, you can basically have two switches uh, being able to play the same software, so long as it's connected to an internet connection for the secondary switch. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you want more content from me in the future, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know about your switch explorations, and uh, yeah, I will see you soon for another video. Deuces.